now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November the 2nd. Today on the worldwide map sees two active tropical systems, one of them pretty much, well, dead, being Apollo in the Mediterranean, the other one pretty much alive and now fully tropical, being Tropical Storm Wanda on this 305th day of 2021. Day 154 of Atlantic hurricane season sees again uh, Wanda out and about, which as Alfieri said in his storm update yesterday, is wandering in the Atlantic Ocean. However, now it is a fully tropical system. Uh, we also have an area of interest just off the coast of Nicaragua with a 10% chance of formation in five days. Jumping over to the Eastern Pacific on day 170 of hurricane season sees the exact same AOI we just talked about. However, over in this part of the world, it has a 20% chance of formation in five days as it crosses over into this part of the world. Over in the Western Pacific, it's a quiet day here as nothing is active over in this part of the world. There is not a named storm, no invest, no area of interest, nothing. So over in the North Indian, there is also nothing active over in this part of the world apart from the usual monsoonal patterns which we are typical for this time of year. Over in the South Indian Ocean, 93S is pretty much gone, meaning that there is no activity over in this part of the world as well. Over in the Australian region, it's a similar story here. Nothing is active in this part of the world as this area begins to warm up, ready for uh, activity, uh, basically. And yet again, nothing is active in the South Pacific as it is only the second day of hurricane season in this part of the world. It's everything still needs to uh, warm up before activity can begin. Wanda once again is now a fully tropical system making its way as of now northeast and it will eventually make a turn towards the north where it will continue to head in that direction for a fair few days. There is absolutely nothing of interest visible on satellite over in the eastern Pacific. It's all quiet here. There is also nothing active over in the western Pacific as the sun rises in this part of the world. Yet again, it's all quiet here. North Indian also sees nothing of interest active on satellite imagery apart from the usual monsoonal patterns which are normal for this time of this year. Nothing tropical is also active in the Australian region as cyclone season has only just begun so it's going to be a while before we see any activity here. It's a similar story over in the South Pacific as cyclone season here has only just begun however there is an extra tropical system just to the north of New Zealand which you can see on your screen right now. Sea surface temperatures starting off with the West Pacific remaining largely 29 to 30 degrees. The Bay of Bengal is registering 28 to 29 degrees. Those temperatures also extending over into the Arabian Sea. However, the closer to the coast of Africa you get, you go, the colder you will get. The tropical Atlantic also has temperatures of 28 with some pockets of 29 degrees. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico actively looks to be cooling down with temperatures all along the coast of Louisiana, Alabama re registering around 26. The tropical Eastern Pacific and parts of the Central Pacific still remain at roughly 28. However, the subtropical Eastern Pacific is registering low to mid 20s and possibly into the high teens as well now. So it's all cooling down in the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is starting to warm up. The sea surface temperature anomalies starting off this time with the East Pacific, the area all the way from Baja California all the way to Hawaii and by extension past. Hawaii still remains cooler than average. The La Nina it still remains in full swing. The Atlantic pretty much 
all above with isolated pockets of below average. The West Pacific also remains largely warmer than average, however there are su still some areas off the coast of Japan which have cooler than average temperatures. And finally the North Indian Ocean pretty much is all is pretty much at or above average. There are also some isolated pockets in the South Indian Ocean with some cooler than average, some warmer than average. Uh, the South Pacific remains largely warmer than average as well. On this day in 2014, our main feature tonight is Typhoon Nuri, which peaked on this day in 2014 as a Category 5 Super Typhoon as it curved towards Japan. Nuri is most notable for reaching a, a pressure of 920 millibars whilst it was an extra tropical cyclone. Also active today was Hurricane Vance over in the Eastern Pacific. I may have butchered that name. I do apologize if I did. You can find out more information by following at Cyclone History on Twitter using the tag provided. And that brings us to the naming lists. The Atlantic has completed its naming list. The next name on, the, well, the first name on the auxiliary naming list is Adria, followed by Braylon. Up next in the East Pacific, we have Sandra, followed by Terry. And over in the Central Pacific, I don't know why I keep repeating myself at this stage, we are still waiting on Hone. Up next in the West Pacific, Storm Nose on list 4 is Naito, followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian is Jawad, followed by Asani. First up in the Australian region this season, as it has just started, is Paddy, followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian, and again with the newly uh, with the new cyclone season, I should clarify, is Anna followed by Batsirai. And finally, up next in the South Pacific is Cody followed by Dobie. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.